Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle. I'm here at Shore Lee 42 with a very talented Eddie McClintock. You might know him from Warehouse 13, Supergirl, No Good Nick, lots of stuff. How are you enjoying the con? I love it. I love it. Uh, it's always nice to be invited somewhere and to be able to show up. So, Well, these days that's never <laughs> a guarantee. It's not a given, you know, so... Uh, yeah, it's it's great after all these years to still be invited uh, because of basically Warehouse 13. Um, it's pretty cool. Well, you have had a number of good guy roles, and then you've had some not so good guy roles. Which ones appeal to you more? Gosh, I don't I don't have a I don't really have a, a preference. Um, I I just um, I enjoy both because even when I'm playing a bad guy, I'm trying to play him as a good guy so. every bad guy is a good guy in their own mind yeah yeah i mean uh i well i i, I don't know I, I think it's more interesting to watch someone who's doing terrible things but you like them for some reason so it's conflicting as an as a viewer that's just the, the way i look at it so you like to confuse people yeah, I, I'm generally confused myself, so you better be confused too. Now, Warehouse 13, you've, uh, you've had some crazy artifacts that did some amazing things and usually had a downside, but if you could eliminate the downside, what kind of artifact would you want? Well, I always used to say I'd want uh, um, Janis Joplin's backstage pass from Woodstock. Because with that uh, backstage pass, you could go to any concert throughout time. So I could see all the bands that I never got to see, like Zeppelin and The Doors and, uh, you know, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Um, uh, you know, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, all, all the stuff that I grew up on. Uh, Black, Black Sabbath, although I did see Black Sabbath. Uh, about five or six years ago, but so that would be it. But then the downside, of course, Janice tragically died from alcohol, and uh, so the uh, the backstage pass would come with a bottle of Jack Daniels that you would have to, and then you end up in rehab with Lindsay Lohan or someone. That is a downside. Let's try to get rid of that part. Yeah, <laughs> we'll try. We'll try. We're working on it. A lot of your roles have dealt with CGI and, and effects that are added back in. Have you ever had a time when it's been kind of more challenging to visualize what you were supposed to be seeing? And did the final product actually kind of match what your vision was or was it way off? Yeah, I mean, uh, Saul Rubinek, who was on Warehouse with me, he, he coined the term schmacting. It's when you're pretending that things are in front because you're working with a green screen or whatever. Um, when we were doing Warehouse 13, there were times that I was pleasantly surprised. And then there were other times where, you know, budgetary constraints, you know, you, you know made, you, if you squint, it's passable. So, you know, I mean, you take the good with the bad, but uh, all in all, it's mostly been good. And fun to schmacked. Who doesn't love to schmacked? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to use that from now on. <laughs> Schmaltzy acting. So if you could go back and revisit and reprise one of your characters in like a sequel or a reboot, who would it be and why? I mean, uh, I would love to go back and play Pete Latimer again. Um, you know, they're doing a, uh, a sci-fi marathon of Warehouse 13 right now. Um, it started yesterday morning. Oh, shit, I got to go. No. All yeah, right. Uh, and, and so, you know, like, I would, you know, I would think maybe if, if the numbers are good, they'll ask us to come back and do something, which would be cool. Um, I also played, uh, I was on a show called uh, Stark Raving Mad with Neil Patrick Harris and Tony Shalhoub. Uh, I played a character named Jake and... You know, he, he was kind of like the Kramer of the show. He, he Everything, you know, he, he would come in, say something hilarious and ridiculous, and then 
walk off. It was like the dream job. So that that would be fun. And what was it like working with, you know, Neil Patrick Harris and Tony Sloob? I mean, those guys are are legends. What were your experiences with them? Great. Uh, awesome. Awesome guys. Um, yeah, it was, was, you know, like the days of wine and roses for me. Um, on uh, NBC uh, sitcom on Thursday nights back during the days when, you know, Frasier and Friends and um, uh, when they were killing. And, and uh, it was uh, it was a great experience. It was uh, something I'll never forget. Now, I know you've been to a lot of conventions. Is there a particular experience with a fan that, you know, sticks out in your mind? I had a young uh, Marine uh, come up and uh, tell me that I, Pete Latimer and and I kept him alive in the hospital for about two years after he um, stepped over a remotely detonated IED in uh, Afghanistan and had to have his uh, have surgeries like every month or so for a year and a half I think a year and a half two years he was in the hospital and. Um, and then uh, he came back the next day and, and gave me his Purple Heart, which I tried to refuse. Um, but then he goes, don't worry, I've got two of them because he got blown up in Iraq, too. So uh, that was that was probably the um, the best compliment I've ever been paid. That is incredible. <laughs> Thank you. You're cute. You're cute. I was in Bones, yes, ma'am. Well, I'm pretty tall. I'm, uh, thank you, thank you. Cute, but I'm cute, but short. Come on, lady, bring it, bring it. Let's go. That's right, you know. All right, any projects that you're working on that you can talk about? I just directed my first film. Uh, it's called Miracle at Manchester. It's about a young man who gets a uh, brain tumor and then the events that, uh, that ensue after that. And that was a lot of fun. That was, his most fun. that was about as much fun as I've had uh, working in the business for a long time. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, and... Uh, you know, I just did a film in Vegas, a little film, and so I'm out there. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm biting and scratching and clawing, and just like everybody else, you know. So, well, keep doing that because we want to see more. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Anything you'd like to say to your fans before we end? Uh, I'd like to say to my fan, hi. <laughs> uh, I think you have more than one. I, uh, uh, I'll get I'll get that twenty bucks back to you as uh, as soon as I can. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Of course, thank you. And thanks everyone for watching. And as always, have fun and follow your fandom. Hi, this is Bonnie Gordon, and you're watching Fandom Spotlight. Make sure to like and subscribe before the self destructs. In five, four, three, two, one. Just kidding. Have fun and follow your fandom.